J.D. Foster. This month, we welcome back our crime reporter, J.D. Foster, to bring us part two on the truth about steroids. Taylor Hooten was just a regular guy, not too much different than our own sports reporter, Brady Sapp, and lots of other kids at Red Oak High School. Taylor was 17, looking forward to his senior year pitching on the baseball team for Plano West Senior High School and summer vacation. He was good looking, had a girlfriend, friends, and did well in school and sports. Until the day coming down from steroid use, he hung himself in his bedroom. This month's drug and crime report is brought to you by The Bassett Firm, Texas Trial Attorneys. This month, we continue our coverage of steroid use and abuse from the March edition of Hawkeye News. We briefly discussed the side effects of roids to alter moods. We told you that these drugs, while increasing muscle strength, can also cause irritability and aggressiveness, not to mention negative changes to physical appearance. However, in Taylor's case, both his parents and a family doctor say that his death may have been related to depression that was caused by discontinuing the use of anabolic steroids. Doesn't everyone know that people do stupid things when coming down from heroin or crack? Now we're learning there are just as many issues with steroids. Certainly not a reason to continue using steroids, but a powerful reason never to start. Some additional health risks associated with steroids include premature cessation of bone growth in adolescence, severe acne, hair loss, cysts, tumors, and cancer in liver, jaundice, yellowing of skin, tissues, and body fluids, high blood pressure, glucose intolerance, and insulin resistance. Some emotional disorders associated with use are increased in aggressive behavior, possibly leading to violence, distractibility and irritability, extreme or manic mood swings, paranoid jealousy, impaired judgment stemming from feelings of invincibility, depression, restlessness, and feelings of inadequacy during withdrawal. And for those second graders at Eastridge Elementary that I talked to just a couple of weeks ago, no, just a little bit isn't good. The short-term use of steroids in the spring wasn't worth Taylor Hooten's promising life. Next fall, we will have Donald Hooten Jr. here with us to discuss this tragedy and how we might prevent a similar happening here at Red Oak High School. Donald is Taylor's older brother. Donald is currently the executive director of the Taylor Hooten Foundation, which was formed to honor Taylor's memory and raise awareness of the dangers of steroids. Prior to losing Taylor, the Hootens were unaware of the dangers of anabolic steroids. We here at Hawkeye News want to make sure you understand the dangers of steroids and to make sure no one here ruins or even loses their life from steroid use. Our coaches and administrators want to make it clear that Red Oak ISD Athletics will be drug free, no matter of wins or worth the loss of one of our student athletes. Until next year, be safe and stay clean. I'm J.D. Foster, Hawkeye News.